Yes. <laughs> Flashing whiteboard. Pressure on Matilda and Aisha. Amy, your choice. Can I have the B, please? What B is the surname of Bilbo and his young heir... <laughs> Amy. Baggins. Young Air Frodo, created by J.R.R. Tolkien. Baggins is right, well done, and that is Blockbusters. Aisha and Matilda applaud Amy. So it's turning into a great contest between reigning champion Amy and newcomers Aisha and Matilda. A one game all, and with the decider still to play, would you believe it, we're going to end the show there. Join us next time. Goodbye. The end. Take control of your television next as our contestants take control of the board because there's more blockbusters coming up. We days at five, all the A's, arrows, archers and A, proper array of retro prizes. But you've got to hit that B to win. It's bullseye. Sixty-six. Give us a clickety-click if you can still hear us. Mecca Bingo Online, sponsors of Challenge. You do all sorts of things when you're a parent. <laughs> Bomb disposal. Spit washing. Taking out life insurance. Hello, welcome to Smart Life Insurance. You're speaking to Kate. How can I help? Hi, I'd like to get a quote, please. OK, as long as you're a UK resident, aged 18 to 64, you can apply for a benefit amount up to £750,000. That's great. There's no medical or blood tests, just a few health and lifestyle questions. For a quick quote, all I need to know is your age and if you smoke. Uh, yeah, I'm 32 and I don't smoke. Well then, £100,000 of life insurance cover could start at just £6.89 a month in the first year. That's less than I thought. <laughs> and with that money, we could pay off the mortgage. And with Smart Cashback, you'll get 10% of your first year's premiums back after 12 months. Sounds great. I'll go ahead. With a 100% advance for terminal illness and a straightforward claims process, life insurance is the smart way to help protect your family's financial future. Our service is rated excellent by Trustpilot. Plus, when you take out a policy, you'll get your choice of a free £100 gift card. Right, what's next on the agenda? <laughs> Laundry. To get a quote today, call our friendly UK team on 0800 912 1586 or visit smartinsurance.co.uk. Macmillan Coffee Morning is back this September. So let's get together and do whatever it takes for people living with cancer. Whether you're making it, baking it, even faking it. Dancing, laughing, family gathering or just coffee and chatting. The money you raise helps us do whatever it takes for people living with cancer. There's still time to join in. Order your free coffee morning kit today by searching Macmillan Coffee Morning now. Hi, I'm Sue Cook. Like a lot of us recently, I've been looking at the cost of living and ways to save money. One of our biggest expenses is planning a funeral. A traditional service with all the formalities involved can cost more than £4,000. Not everyone can afford that, but the good news is that Distinct Cremations offer a simpler alternative for less than half that price. With their plan, you get a fuss-free cremation with no hidden costs or extra bills to pay. They even offer a money-back guarantee. So for a dignified farewell without spending more than you need, call Distinct Cremations for this free guide. You'll be in very good company. To find out more, Call Distinct Cremations for a free guide on 0800 047 8552. That's 0800 047 8552. Or visit distinctcremations.co.uk. So what do you know about football? I've only been to Wembley once to watch the Spice Girls, and that was great. That was a good gig, wasn't it? Comedians Catherine Ryan and Maisie Adam team up with England football legend Jill Scott in a one-off oh, no. and League of Their Own special. You're pulling that too hard. Where they'll meet the Euro-winning England team before the World Cup. Yeah. And find out if they have what it takes to be Lionesses too. Oh, my knees. The Lionesses, a League of Their Own special, available now on Sky Max. 
Robin Ramesh are taking on Crush. You're going to be out there at the world's yeah. biggest dog show. I don't think I can physically run around that on my own without a dog. Yeah! <laughs> Three top tips, then. OK. Number one, eye contact with your dog. OK, your well, dog. I'm completely out now. A new episode every Wednesday on Sky Max. If you needed a reason to stay with us, then we've got a million of them. Chris is here to play Classic Millionaire. Weeknights at 10, new on Challenge. 58, you've made us wait long enough. What's your final answer? Mecca Bingo Online, sponsors of Challenge. Blockbusters, presented by Simon Mayo. Audio described by Therese Birch. Three contestants battle to recognize well-known words or phrases from their initials, and so complete a line across the Blockbusters board. It's Blockbusters with Simon Mayo. Hello and welcome to Blockbusters, the show we all know and love, where three players go head-to-head-to-head -to -head -to -head in an attempt to make their way across the brain-teasing Blockbusters board. Each hexagon you see contains the first letter to the answer of a general knowledge question. Our solo player has to connect white to white, top to bottom, while our pair are trying to cross the board blue to blue. I'm just checking to see if there's anything else to it. No, that appears to be it. So, we move on, and at the end of the last show, Amy, our current champion, was playing against Aisha and Matilda. The score was one game all, and we were about to start our third. Here comes the next board. Oh, we have a flashing T. That's where we're going to start. So, let's play Blockbusters. <laughs> Amy 140, Aisha and Matilda 35. For Wallace and Gromit, second outing. Matilda? Train. No, I'll repeat it for Amy. What T were wrong for Wallace and Gromit's second outing? Trousers. Trousers is what I wanted. Yes, the wrong trousers. <laughs> Where next, Amy? Um, may I have a D, please? What D goes before surgery, hygiene, and floss? Amy? Dental. Dental is right. Yes, that's what I wanted. <laughs> Road to like next. May I have a U, please? What U is to promote a person to a higher rank or position? Amy. Upstage. Uh, incorrect. Full question to Aisha and Matilda, no conferring. What U is to promote a person to a higher rank or position or to offer a better seat on a plane? Matilda. Upgrade. Upgrade is what I wanted. Yes, you're on the board. <laughs> Where next? Um, can we have an N, please? What N goes before technician, enamel, polish or varnish? Amy. Nail. Nail is right, yes. <laughs> Your choice next, Amy. Um, may I have the I, please? What I is the state that Barack Obama represented? <laughs> Matilda. Illinois. Matilda, you were just out of time. Full question to Amy. What I is the state that Barack Obama represented in the Senate before becoming president? Illinois. Illinois is the right answer, yes. 2005 to 2008. <laughs> and it's given you a flashing white board. Aisha and Matilda need to be fast. It's Amy's choice, though. I'll have the L, please. What L is a long-handled spoon for serving soup? Amy. Ladle. Ladle is right. Well done, and that's Blockbusters. <laughs> the letters clear away it from the board. Contest. Well done, Amy. It could have gone either way. And, of course, most disappointingly, Aisha, we won't get to see you pop your hip and shake your <laughs> booty. Because you never made it down to the hot spot. But it's been great having you on the competition. You don't go away empty-handed, of course, because you are taking away our consolation prize. Go digital and read all of your favourite books on the move with your Blockbusters ebook, courtesy of LMX. So I hope you enjoy using the e-readers and also you have £40 each. Thank you very much indeed for coming down and playing Blockbusters. Aisha and Matilda. Thank you. Amy's on 165. Yeah. Do you think you can do a hat trick? Maybe, I don't want to jinx it, but hopefully. Well, it can only get better. Put yourself on the hotspot. Amy looks nervous as she heads for the hotspot. 
Here's your third gold run board. Amy, you have 60 seconds to make your way across, connecting left to right, gold to gold. If you make it to the other side, you'll win the third gold run prize. You can pass on any question. Your time starts as soon as you tell me where you'd like to begin. Um, sorry, SC, please. Give the house a good tidy once winter is over. Spring clean. Yes. TF. Proverbially, truth is stranger... ..than fiction. Yes. BAU. Scaffolding may be up outside, but inside the shop is still open for... B business... Yes. ..and... No. EF. Where comedians perform in Scotland each August... Edinburgh Festival. Yes. MP. Kermit's porcine friend... Uh, Miss Piggy. Yes. DHM. She played the Queen in The Queen. Dame Helen Mirren. Is the right answer. <laughs> and that's a gold one. Another gold one. And this is what you won. After your third gold run, you deserve a bit of a break. You're getting one now with a luxury one-night escape. Courtesy of Smartbox, you can choose from 50 different getaways. From historical manor houses to old English castles, you'll be able to handpick the best break to suit you. Amy smiles at her prize. That's really, really nice. You passed on just the one. Scaffolding may be up outside, but is inside the shop is still open for business oh, as usual. Yeah. It doesn't matter. You've just got your third gold run, and maybe there's another one or two to come. Amy, well done, and back to your seat, please. <laughs> so, once again, Amy makes her way back to her seat from a successful gold run, so it must mean it's time to meet two new players. Please welcome Rosie and Mary Ann from London and Lincolnshire. <laughs> Hello, Rosie. Hello, Marianne. Hi. This is Amy. She's our champion, and she's very good, with three gold <laughs> runs under her belt. Marianne, you're a bookkeeper. I am, yes. And who do you work for? I work for myself. I'm self-employed. So you do your own books? <laughs> yeah, I fiddle my own books, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Rosie, you are a digital effects artist. I am, yes. So explain the kind of thing that you do and to what films and TV programmes. Um, I do all the little special effects that make things look pretty. Uh, I'd make Superman fly, let's put it that way. All right. And your mother and daughter, of course. Yes. Uh, in what way are you like your mother, Rosie? Um, I've got her eyes, I think, and um, I've got her sense of humour, I think, as well. And what would you say? In what way is she like you, uh, mm, I think I had the brain, she got the beauty. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'll find out who got what as we move our way through our next game. You're playing Amy. She's a top champion. Best of three, as you know. They're the rules. Here comes our next board. We have a flashing The letters we'll appear. There. Let's play Blockbusters. Amy's on 165. Amy plays Rosie and Mary Ann. What are our traditional dances or simply spools for cotton threads? <laughs> Mary Ann. Real. Real is the right answer. Reels, yes. Um, can we have a tea, please? What tea is a bird which is used to mean three strikes in a row? <coughs> Amy. <laughs> Just went. Full question to Rosie and Mary Ann, no conferring. What tea is a bird which is used to mean three strikes in a row in a game of ten pin bowling? <coughs> Rosie. Turkey. Turkey is the right answer, yes. <laughs> Two blue hexagons on the board. Where next? Oh, um, J. J, please. What J is the last word in the title of the hit single by Maroon 5, Moves <laughs> Like Rosie? <laughs> yes, she moves like Rosie. <laughs> Jagger. That was very close. You always have to give me the answer before <laughs> the person <laughs> goes, but you did say Jagger, and that's the right answer, yes. <laughs> and it clearly isn't Moves Like Rosie. Yeah. But, hey, why not? Where next? Uh, S, please. What S is an advanced spy for the army and one of a group whose motto is be prepared? <laughs> Rosie. Scout. Scout is right. Yes, well done. <laughs> You've only just joined us. We have a blue flashing board <laughs> and our champion, Amy, hasn't got a single white hexagon. What's happening, Amy? Tired. Uh, flashing blue board, Amy being very careful and Mary Ann and Rosie choosing. We'll have a B, please, Simon. What B is a bundle of hay or straw? Amy. 
Barrel? It's the wrong answer. Full question to Rosie and Marianne, no conferring. What beer is a bundle of hay or straw and the surname of Batman actor <coughs> Christian? Rosie. Bale. Bale is what I wanted. Well done. Well done. And that is Blockbusters. <laughs> Letters clear from the board. One down, Rosie and Marianne. That was a great start, a flying start. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So we've established we have a bookkeeper and a digital effects artist, and you were an extra as well, Rosie. You act. Um, the last thing you could see me on, um, there's a certain kind of margarine um, where they are showing their cholesterol levels. And um, there's a girl that w runs in and gives them a board with their number on it, and that's me. And that's you. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm sure your mum watches every single one of them. Oh, yeah, she records them all. <laughs> all the way through, of course, because that's what mums do. Yeah. Uh, right, so we move on then. This is a good contest. Here's our next board. A flashing E to start with. So, let's play Blockbusters. <laughs> Amy, 165, what Rosie and Marianne, 25. Who preceded Macmillan? <laughs> Amy. Edward? It's the wrong answer. Full question to Rosie and Marianne. What E is the British Prime Minister who preceded Macmillan and the biblical name for paradise? <laughs> Marianne. Eden. Eden is what I wanted. Yes, well done on the board. So it seems Amy has tough competition in Rosie and Marianne who are one game up and have already made their mark on the second board. Join us after the break to see who wins. See you then. End of part one. Oh, 22. You'll be good at this one. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, Tim. Come and look at these old photos of Grandad. Oh, I miss him. But at least he had a good send-off. Yeah, we did him proud. He must have saved up like mad. What's the funeral cost these days? Well, they say it's about £4,000. But by the time you add cars, flowers, food and everything else, it's more like 6000 But thankfully, your granddad always said it paid to have proper life insurance. He was smart. He was. So I took his advice. I wanted to make sure that you wouldn't have to find that sort of money at short notice. British Seniors has been chosen by more than 200,000 people across Britain to protect their families. With a guaranteed cash payout up to £10,000 and 100% of claims paid, Over 50's life insurance is a great way to help make sure your loved ones aren't left struggling with funeral costs or outstanding debts when you die. You can arrange cover in just one phone call. Prices start from just £4.32 a month. If you're a UK resident aged 50 to 80, you're guaranteed to be accepted. Plus, your monthly payments are guaranteed to stay the same and you're covered for the whole of your life and when you take out a policy you'll receive your choice of a free 125 pound gift card come on you nap time you need your sleep so you can be smart like your man yes you do to get a quote call our friendly uk team now on 0800 014 or search british seniors over 50s Win at Staying In with broadband you can trust when you're working from home. Now you can get BT Broadband, even our ultra-reliable full fibre, for £29.99 a month with no upfront costs on a 24-month contract. Plus a £20 money-back speed guarantee and Norton Security to keep you protected online. Don't wait. Offer ends 27th of July. Switch to BT today and win at Staying In. Look at these windows. They really need replacing. The whole kitchen needs a refit. That would be lovely, but how can we pay for it? Well, I've been thinking about Saga Equity Release. We can do all those things that we've been putting off for years. Saga Equity Release could help you unlock some of the value in your home. Our advice is completely free for you. Only Saga Equity Release offers a full money-back guarantee, so you have the option to cancel within the first six months, giving you peace of mind. The cash you get is 100% tax-free. And because it's from Saga, you know you're in good hands. Shall I call them? Why not? We could finally get that extension. And we could help Debbie put a deposit on a new house. Let's do it! If you're a UK homeowner aged 55 or over, call us now on 0800 888 for a no-obligation chat and to get a free guide. Or search Saga Equity Release and see how much money you could get. Going into the DRSO and down he goes! Around the outside! 
Watch the Hungarian Grand Prix live on Sky Sports. To add Sky Sports, go to sky.com forward slash sports. Number 13, that's unlucky. Part two. Busters, where current champion Amy is being given a run for her money by Rosie and Marianne, who are one game up. Rosie and Marianne, it's also your choice of letter next, so where would you like to go? Um, could we have a G, please? What G describes the strike which brought Britain to a halt in 1926? Marianne. General. General is right, yes. The general strike of 1926, another blue hexagon. Could we have the U, please? What U is the first name of Geller, the spoonbender? Amy? Yuri. Yuri is right, yes, well done. <laughs> have a white hexagon on the board, Amy, where would you like to go? Have the N, please. What N is a final drink taken before going to bed? Marianne. Um, nightcap. Or an old-fashioned item worn in bed? Nightcap is right, yes. <laughs> Another blue hexagon for you. Actually, Joe. Can we have the J, please? What J is the name that links Dimbleby, Kaner, Amy? Jonathan. Creek, Reese Myers and Ross. Jonathan is the right answer. Well done, well interrupted. <laughs> A blocking white hexagon for Amy. Where would you like to go? Um, may I have the L, please? What L is home to the Marquis of Bath as well as the Lions? Marianne? Longleat. Longleat is right, yes, well done. <laughs> Um, we'd like the M, please. What M are the indigenous people of New Zealand? Amy. Maori. Maori, of course, yes. <laughs> yes, Amy. Um, may I have the F, please? What F from the Latin for wild beast is used for animals, normally domestic? <laughs> Marianne. Feral. Who are living wild. Feral is the right answer, oh. yes. Marianne and Rosie, where would you like next? Let's go for R for Rosie, then. R for <laughs> Rosie, please. OK. What R is the name by which actor Dwayne Johnson was known as, as a wrestler? Amy. Rock. Rock is oh, right, God, yes, the yeah. rock. Ah. Amy, it's your choice. B, please. What B describes someone with a lively personality? <laughs> Amy. Bubbly. And there's a colloquial description of champagne. Oh. Bubbly is right, yes, well interrupted. <laughs> and it's given you a flashing white board. <laughs> so, Marianne and Rosie are ready, and it's Amy's choice. Um, I have the A, please. What A is the rather appropriate first name of Arsenal manager Wenger? Amy. Arson. Arson is absolutely right, yes, well done. <laughs> and that is Blockbusters. <laughs> Rosie and Marianne clap, Amy. So this is this is boiling up into some competition. How was that, Amy? You've woken up anyway. You were saying you were too tired beforehand. <laughs> and I think you get one right and you get a bit more confident within yourself, maybe. OK, so we have a great contest here. One game all. Here comes the decider and our next board. A flashing L. We're going to start there. So let's play Blockbusters. <laughs> Amy, 195, what Rosie and Marianne, 50. West Indian dancing where people... Amy. No, I've lost it. Full question to Rosie and Marianne. What L is the form of West Indian dancing where people wriggle under a low bar? Rosie. Limbo. Limbo is what I wanted, yes. <laughs> Your choice next. I'm... Can I have a P, please? You certainly can, <laughs> Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> what pea is a drink? Like cider, but made from pears. Marianne. Perry. Perry is what I wanted, yes. <laughs> Flying start. Can we have the C, please? What C means to increase in Italian? <laughs> Amy. Uh, Capella. It's the wrong answer. Full question to Rosie and Marianne. What C means to increase in Italian, and on a score tells a musician to gradually get louder to turn up the volume. Rosie. Crescendo. Crescendo is what I wanted. Yes, well done. 
three blues. No white ones from Amy just yet. Feeling tired again. Mary Ann and Rosie, what would you like next? Um, can I have a cup of tea, please? Tea. What tea is called Isis as it flows through Oxford? <laughs> Mary Ann. Thames. Thames is right. There ever Thames, yes. <laughs> Like a bolt, we have a flashing blue board, and Amy needs to respond very quickly with one of her famous blocking hexagons if she's going to stay in. Could we have the W, please? What W do hippos do at a waterhole? Amy. Wallow. Or pigs do in mud, lying down and luxuriating in it, but others do this in misery. Wallow is the right answer, Amy. Well done. A blocking wire hexagon. It's still a flashing blue board, so you still have to tread carefully, but you know that. Yeah. Um, the J, please. What J is to throw away or overboard, especially... Marianne. Jettison. Especially to lighten a vessel or aircraft in distress. Jettison is right, yes. <laughs> it's another flashing um, blue board, but this time it's Marianne and Rosie choosing. Where would you like next? D, please. What D? is the name of a breed of sheep, a breed of pony, and a prison... <laughs> Amy. Dartmoor. And a prison for long-term criminals. Dartmoor is right, yes. Well done. And another blocking white hexagon. <laughs> Still a flashing blue board for you to be careful of. Um, may I have the M, please? What M is a person who tries to arrange marriages? <laughs> Amy. Matchmaker. And when repeated is a song from the musical Fiddler on the Roof, Matchmaker is right, yes. <laughs> Disco time, flashing white, flashing blue board, match point, but it's Amy's call for the next hexagon. Have to go for the B then, please. What B is the B in the abbreviation relating to history BC? Amy. Before. Before oh. is right, well done. And that is Blockbusters. <laughs> Rosie and Marianne applaud Amy. Another fantastic, exciting day. Congratulations, Amy, Rosie and Marianne. That was extraordinary. And it was a great contest. And that could have gone either way, and you're really frustrated, aren't you? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, it's been fantastic having you on the programme. We've really enjoyed having you. It's been a great competition. Uh, you don't go away empty-handed, of course, because you do take away uh, an e-reader each. And you also take away £75. We appreciate Ooh, you coming down. That, it's been a great read? competition. Rosie and Marianne, thank you very much, Lisa Brain Blockbuster. Amy, you've done it again. You have a fourth gold one, and you still look permanently surprised that you're still here. Yeah, I didn't think I'd even make it to the first one. But... Okay. Well, you're starting to uh, build up these prizes, and you have a pretty good list already. Do you fancy adding a fourth? I'd love to. Let's go for it. Put yourself on the hotspot. Amy leaves her seat and walks over to the hotspot. Amy, here's your fourth gold run board. You have 60 seconds to make your way across, connecting left to right, gold to gold. If you make it to the other side, you'll win the fourth gold run prize. You can pass on any question. Your time starts as soon as you tell me where you'd like to begin. I have the QN, please. Team question and answer challenge in the pub in the evening. Quiz night. Yes. MC. Winner of the 2011 Sports Personality of the Year Award. FF. Chips from across the channel. French fries. Yes. Yes. TV show about the inhabitants of Springfield. The Simpsons. Yes. AC. The only way is Essex for this beautician and reality TV star. Uh, a Amy Charles. Yes. Um, C A L. French for coffee with milk. Cafe au lait. Is the right answer. <laughs> After your fourth gold run, you'll be happy to know that you've bagged yourself a fantastic laptop computer. Courtesy of welcometoalex.com, this laptop comes with a year's tech support and is installed with state-of-the-art software that makes it incredibly easy to use. Whether it's checking your emails, uploading photos or simply surfing the web, you'll be able to take all your computing needs on the go with this prize. Amy looks surprised. Pretty good because my boyfriend just bought me a laptop for my birthday, but his is just broken, so I might return the favour. Oh, what? So you're going to go out to your boyfriend? Yeah, I mean, he bought me one, for, so 
Yeah, and yeah. his is just broken. So. Do you think that's nicer than the one you... It, it's pretty nice. <laughs> it is pretty nice. Give him my old one. Would that be... Do you think that you might get away no, with that? No, no, I'll give him... What's his name, Amy? Terry. OK, well, Terry might have uh, won one of these gold runs uh, without actually taking part. You passed on just one. Winner of the 2011 Sports Personality of the Year Award was Mark Cavendish. Hey, who cares? You got another <laughs> gold run prize. Well done, Amy. And back to your seat, please. So Amy makes her way back, adding a laptop to the television, the celebrity haircut and the luxury break for two that she's already won. That's where we're going to have to leave Blockbusters for now. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. We'll see you again soon. Goodbye. <laughs>Savings in the Hillary Summer Sale with up to 50% off selected blinds, curtains and shutters. Plus, save an extra 10% off when you book by the 31st of July. All with measuring and fitting included. Book your free appointment today. Call 0800 916 1010 or visit hillarys.co.uk. Extra 10% off and soon. These days, we all like things less complicated, more straightforward. Especially if we're saying goodbye to a loved one. I talked to the people at Distinct Cremations, and they told me many of us don't want to spend large sums of money on an elaborate funeral. Their best value, five-star rated direct cremation plan guarantees a simple, low-cost funeral that leaves no hidden costs and no further bill to pay. It all makes sense to me, something I'd want for myself, for sure, especially somewhere like here. If you're interested too, please contact Distinct Cremations and ask for this free guide. You'll be in very good company. Call Distinct Cremations for a free guide on 0800 031 4393. That's 0800 031 4393. Or visit distinctcremations.co.uk. Could you help a seriously ill child to smile with a gift in your will? I had a very sore leg. The doctor said I had leukaemia. Gifts in Wills have helped Great Ormond Street Hospital Children's Charity fund vital research that's led to kinder treatments and cures. Will you leave a gift in your will so we can help the children at Great Ormond Street Hospital who will still urgently need us tomorrow? Our researchers work tirelessly to find life-changing treatments and cures. But so many children are waiting for that next breakthrough. When can I go home? A gift in your will could help fund future research. I want to be able to play with my friends again. Find out more by requesting your free will guide today. Call 0800 472 5779 or search Gosh Will online. A gift in your will could help give seriously ill children a chance of a brighter future. Thanks so much. Yeah, my brother's going over now. Well, OK. That was Verishore Alarms. Someone broke into our house. Really? Verishore activated zero vision. Burglar ran away. Maybe I should get one. Verishore Alarms. Get 50% off your zero vision alarm installation and a free video doorbell install. Call now or visit verishore.co.uk. Robin Ramesh are taking on magic. Abracadabra! Anything you can do in show business, they've done. And now we're here to ruin it. Somebody who has never spoken on camera broke his vow of silence because he was dealing with such an idiot. You're fake. What are we doing? A new episode every Wednesday on Sky Max. Traditional heritage craft. Crafts that are in danger. Whoa. Oh. Join us as we meet the generation keeping three of these traditional skills alive.
I'm getting some static from polyester blouses, and I can smell the hairspray from here. It must be time to play bullseye on challenge. Sixty-six. Give us a clickety click if you can still hear us. Mecha Bingo Online, sponsors of Challenge. We've got a marvellous studio audience tonight. It's the best we've had for a long, long time. They're absolutely tremendous. Thank you all for coming, and thank you for watching. And thanks here to Judith Wright from Hounslow, who's written and says she's a big fan of the show, she loves the programme, but she, she says in the letter, well, are, are all the contestants, are they all shy? Because they spend all the time looking down at the feet. Well, the reason for that, of course, is they're not used to television. It's a different thing for them altogether, this. And they've got to look down for the little marks on the floor to stand on the marks. It's easy for me, because... I'm quite an experienced television performer and I, quite naturally I stand on my mark and I look at the right camera and I can see exactly what's going on. It's quite easy, but it's just when, uh, when sometimes, what, what? Is it that camera? Oh. Sorry. Anyway, um, I think we'll just get on and play bullseye. Hey, Tony. Hi. Welcome to Bullseye. Thank you very much. Nice to see you. Your, your nickname's Grizzly. Yeah, I know. I got that through playing the Super League. Last season, really? I had sort of hair down to my shoulders, great big beard, and... Really? Thought, you know, bit like all I wanted was a bear, you don't know what I mean? Absolutely. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah. Your job is... Involved Sheet metal worker, Sheet yeah. Metal. Yeah, yeah can... ventilation duct work. Really? Yeah. Well, plenty of work in the pipeline, then. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Hiya, Kevin. Nice to see you. You work for, in, for the same firm as Tony. That's right. Yes. Yeah, good. Yes. And and what do you do within the company, Kevin? I'm a cost surveyor. Really? Doing the measurement and the pricing of the. Contract. How much metal's involved and, and That's cost right. of timing, time taken to do the job. That's correct. Yeah, yeah. good, good. You're not too good as a do-it-yourself man, are you? I did have one disaster. Go <laughs> yes. on, tell us about it. It's a nice well, I was story. stripping some paint from a window just above the eaves in my house. Yeah. And I set fire to the roof. <laughs> and the whole roof had to be replaced. We had to move out for a couple it of months. It all went. Yeah. So you don't do a lot of that now, eh? I'll <laughs> put my hot air paint strip away, yes. <laughs> <laughs> now they've got two boys from my neck of the woods here. From Morecambe, hi, Eddie. How are you doing? Nice right? to see you. you. You're a setter operator. Yeah, at Glass oh. and Dock. We make silencers. What, Glass and Dock you work? Yeah. You make silencers? That's right. Oh, that must be exhausting work. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen, tell me how you met this you lovely lady. Well, it was a disco tech on the pier. Was it really? A disco Very market. exciting. It was. Did you have the pies and the peas? In oh, I all that. <laughs> all the trimmings. It's, it's romantic stories like this. <laughs> that get millions of people watching bulls every week. Pie and peas, more can peer, meet them, and that's it. <laughs> more can peer's gone, though, isn't it? As it burnt down. <laughs> Did it? He went with his pants. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Kevin. Young Mark, you've got an interesting job, Mark. What do you do? Yeah, I'm a betting shop manager. One of the big four firms. One of the big four? Yes. Can't mention it, mustn't mention no, it. No. You can go broke there, couldn't you? <laughs> yes, certainly <I> could. <laughs> now listen, uh, we've 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 had some inside information about you, Mark. You, would you like to you'd like to change your job really and get out of this mundane betting shop, wouldn't you? If I had the opportunity, yeah. And what like would you want to do? I'd like to be on Will Sabbath's Madhouse or with Bobby Davro, a uh, comedy. Are you a frustrated impressionist? Yes. He, he is, isn't he? He is. He's very good. Though. Is he? Well, I'll tell you what, we, we think we're ready for you. you. We know it's more difficult sitting down, so stand yes. up and just give us a nice minute of well, your impressions. Well, your thoughts like uh, Postman Socks on Gyro Day, because we haven't had a drink all day. No, you haven't. We, we, make, we make sure of that, don't we? Yeah. Go on, up. Which camera, number one? Do we, um, well, <laughs> go on, Mr. Arrogant. <laughs> Which camera? Yes, number one. Number one? Yes, go on, off you go. Well, I'm Jack Douglas, then. Let me know if you turn that camera off. I think I'm working at Rover's return, didn't you? <laughs> what about... Uh, Duncan Norvell. Yeah, we'll do him, yeah, go on. <laughs> you actually chased me, don't you, Jim? Come on, buddy, I got on in there. 
<laughs> I've already come to get a bendy bully. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, go. Yeah, see if you can get through this. Is. <laughs> can you measure that one? Head of the eagle. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well done, Mark. Well done. Stick at it. Very you competitive are. field, but stick at it. That was really delightful. Now, the two ladies, you, and you, you've drawn last, haven't you? Sometimes there's an advantage to playing last. Karen Little and, and Maddie Wells. Your nicknames, Karen, is it, Lightning and Wizzer. Yeah, right. Because you right, both, yeah. play for the, both play for the same team, do you? Is that what, is yeah, that we play for Barnet General Hospital team. Yeah. You live in Boreham Wood, Karen. That's right, yeah. Um, where do you work, sweetheart? Uh, I work for the London Ambulance Service at Fry and Barnet Station. You're a cider drinker, Karen, are you? I am indeed, yes. <laughs> <laughs> a connoisseur. <laughs> are you really? Yeah. What, sweet, dry, whatever? Any of them, yeah. Any of them. You yeah. drink them all? Definitely, yeah. You don't drink cider, do you, Maddie? No. What do you drink, no. sweetheart? Lager, wine. You've got a joint ambition, haven't you? A pair of you. Yeah. yeah. Lose weight. Lose weight, yes. Really? Well, mm. yeah. We've been working on it. I've lost two stones, she's lost Have a stone really? and a half, yeah. How long did it take to lose two stones? About two years. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. We don't want to lose anything tonight. We want you all to win. Six excellent contestants. Give them a nice round of applause. <laughs> OK. <clears throat> Come once again and have a look at Bullies category board. Having seen the contestants, <clears throat> just to remind you that uh, here's the board with the categories to be hit by the dart players. Uh, subjects chosen by the partners. They can win a lot of money in this part of the game if they get their act together. Over there are the questions waiting to be answered. A lot of them, questions and darts mean a lot of money for our contestants who are sitting there waiting to play the game. Let me just remind you at home that the questions in the first round are £30 each. Kevin, choose for Tony. Faces, please, Jim. Faces. All right, Tony. All the time in the world, Tony. Faces. In fact, it's not. It's in sport. We know what he did. He was having a crack for the bullseye at this stage. Could be sensible. For £30 on sport, uh, Kev, who won the 1988 US Masters Golf Championship? Sandy Lyle. Yes. In fact, the first British golfer so to do. Well done. Mark for Eddie. Faces, please, Jim. Faces we'd like. That's the way to do it. £50 you have there, Mark. Another 30 if you can tell me this. Look at your monitors, all of you. First snap there to Mark. Who is it? Ronnie Corbett. Ronnie Corbett is right. That's very good. Gives you another 30 quid. We move on. Maddie for Karen. Showbiz, please, Jim. Showbiz. Come on, Karen. Showbiz we'd like. £30 for another £30, Maddie. Who is the host of the Krypton Factor? Sorry. Extremely nice man. Who is it, Mark? Gordon Burns. Gordon Burns, a gentleman. Excellent. Well, £30 bonus for you there, Mark. So what have we got now? We've got Tony and Kevin with £30, Mark and Eddie with £110, and Maddie and Karen with £30. So you're all on the way. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> Questions now worth £50 each, so they're still it's very early days yet. What we've got left are the subjects that are lit. Choose a subject that's lit, Kev, for Tony. History, please, Jim. History. All right, Tony. History. £50. Tactics altered now. Well done, Tony. Another £50 for you here, Kevin, if you can tell me this. Which Roman emperor became insane, appointed his horse as a senator, and murdered most of his relatives? Roman emperor. Don't Mark, it's £50, sir. Caligula. Caligula is right. I thought that was a difficult one. You did very well there, sir. And it's your turn, Mark. You're looking good. Uh, places, please, Jim. Places. Come on, Eddie. Places. £50. You've got your act together very well, boys, here. For another £50, Mark, there are two Mediterranean seaports, Mark, called Tripoli. Can you tell me in which country one of them is? Libya. Is right. The other one is Lebanon. £50 more you've got, uh, Mark. Well done. Uh, Maddie for Karen. Britain, please, Jim. Britain. Come on, Karen. Britain. £50. For another £50, Maddie, which two seaports are linked by the Mersey Tunnel? Sorry. 
Kevin. Liverpool. Yes. And... Sorry, don't know, Jim. Mm, never mind. Worth a stab. In fact, it was Birkenhead. Birkenhead Shipyards. Never mind. There we are at the end of round two. Uh, Kevin and Tony with £80, Mark and Eddie with £260, and Maddie and Karen with £80. Well done. <laughs> well, here we go. £100 a question now, but look at the board. We've got affairs, books, words and spelling left. So here we go, Kevin, for the last time on this board. Affairs, please. Affairs, sir. Affairs we'd like. £50. For another hundred pounds, Kev, in October 1987, which island group declared itself a republic after severing its link with the British monarchy? It's an island group, and they went independent. None of you. Okay, we move on. Mark for Eddie. Books, please, Jim. Books we'd like, Ed. Now then, he was having a stab there, and it's no good. He's gone into Britain, the category's gone, so we can't do anything. So your score could, your advantage could lessen a little now. Maddie for Karen. Um, spelling, please, Jim. Spelling. Come on, Karen. Spelling we'd like. Yes. £50. For another £100, Maddie, please spell abbreviate, meaning to shorten. A double B. R-E-V-I-A-T-E. -E. Check it with Bully. A-B-B-R-E-V-I-A-T-E. -E. Gets you a further £100. Well done. Gives us the scores now. £130 for Kevin and Tony. Mark and Eddie still in front with £260. And £230 for the two girls, Maddie and Karen. Well played. <laughs> the pressure does not ease. We put it even further now on the dark players because all three are still in. One couple to go through to Bully's prize board at the end of this section of the game. The better the dark players do with the correct answers can mean Bully's prize board or dismissal. It's pounds for points on a traditional match play dartboard. Over to Tony. Right you are. Tony. Take your time, Tony. One. Treble 20. Another one, so 62. Right you are, Eddie. 62 to beat. 20. 20. And 12, which is 52. Still 62 to beat, can I? That's one. Another one. And 20. 22. So the first round to Tony. Kevin, it's worth £62 to you, this. How many old pence? made up a tanner. Shh. Is the light on? Six. It's right, sir. Gives you £192, playing £260, playing £230. It really is all down to this part of the game. Back to Tony. Right you are, Tony. Second round. It's five. Twenty. Another twenty. Forty-five. <coughs> right you are, Eddie. 45 to beat. 20. 20. And 19, 59. 59 to beat, Karen. 16. 19. And 19, which is 54. So the second round to Eddie with 59, Jim. Mark, this takes you further into the lead, old son. In Greek mythology, which three sisters had snakes for hair and turned all who looked at them to stone? You've no light on your eye. Three sisters. No, not if you know. The Gorgons. Never mind. We stay as we were, 192 playing 260, playing 230. Very tight as we come to the last round. Over to Tony. Yes, yeah, all on the final round. Right, you are, Tony. 20.